Hello and welcome to this live tutorial to show you exactly how to use the computer program called Paint. The very first thing that you're going to want to do in order to use the computer program Paint is to open it up. So you do that by going to the search button at the bottom of your screen and typing in the words Paint. And when you do that, you should see this screen appear. And you know you've opened up Paint because it says Paint at the top next to Untitled. Uh, so what you'll see here is like a blank canvas and you'll have free range to paint within these, within this border here. You can extend the border by going here and clicking and holding and moving and it expands the uh, screen like this. The next thing you'll want to do is to start drawing and now uh, as you can see you've got loads of different options at the top here you've got like clipboard, image, tools, shapes and colors but the thing you only need to worry about here is clicking on this brush just, just click on the brush like that so once you click on the brush you can begin the drawing uh, so we'll just show you I'll just show you a quick demonstration of how to, of how to use the paint to draw um, I'll just start, start drawing an image I guess okay so I uh, I wonder if you can guess what this is. Okay. Wonder if you know. I'm not quite sure myself. Oh, it's upside down. But don't worry, if it's upside down, you've drawn an image that's upside down, just don't worry. What you need to do is you see where it says rotate? You just click rotate here and then rotate right 90 degrees. So if you just press that. Oh, um, if you press rotate again and then press rotate right 90 degrees and then it, it you can see it's got the, the correct way now. It's the correct way. Um, now no snail picture is complete without a flower because otherwise the, the snail will starve. You, you don't want that to happen. So we'll just draw a little flower here. That's the stem. Now we'll just draw the petal. Okay. Um, I'll just draw a little flower within the within the petal. Okay. Adding a bit of detail. Let's do a little leaf, I think. Okay. There's two leaves. Two leaves for the snail to feed on. So it won't go hungry today. Okay, the next thing you'll want to do is to draw a little human. So this is my human. Anatomically correct. Okay, and this human will be petting the snail. Um, this is to show that it's environmentally friendly, this person. Let's give him a face. Uh, this is a very happy person. He may not look it, but he, he's quite happy inside. Let's give him some ears. Um, let's give him a little hairdo. There we go. Okay, so this is a very simple picture that I've drawn. It's just, um, as you can see, a, a person petting a snail while the snail is trying to get some food from this flower. Um, but you can draw anything you want. This is just an example. Um, when you're happy with this drawing, all you have to do is click File and then Save. But I don't think I'll be saving this picture. Um, it's not that I, I don't like it. I, I, I am happy with it. It's just um, it make um, I don't have a lot of storage on my computer, so um, yeah, won't be saving it this time around. Um, so th this was a very simple demonstration of how to draw. Um, you've got other options at the top here. Um, you've got like like shapes. So so let's bring on a shape. This is like a diamond apparently. So if we click the diamonds and then let me do that. And then we've got a little diamond on our screen. Um, let's try and colour in the diamond. So if we go to the colours and we we click on this colour here and then. Let me click this. It doesn't really. Oh, oh, it's still on the diamond. This is. 
Okay, what what you want to do is is um, I'll click on this bucket, click on the bucket, and then and then click on the color, and it should yeah, it fills the the diamond with with the color that you choose. Um, and if if you want other shapes, you can do this this shape here. Okay, I thought that was a line, but it's not a line. It's I, I don't really understand what that shape is, so it's stressing me out, so we'll just ignore that shape. Okay, here you can type in, this is an A, so if you press the A, and then you click anywhere on the screen, it's a little uh, text box, so you can type in a text box. So I've typed in hello, but you can type in anything you want here, you don't even have to type in hello, it, it could be hello to you, or, or whatever you whatever you really want, you know. Um, so that's that's how to do the texting. Um, I've mentioned the colours. Um, there's also this thing here that says product alerts. I wouldn't click that. It's probably a virus. Um, and here's like edit with Paint 3D. Um, I assume that's some some other program. Um, so what, once you've um, you're you're happy and you're competent using Paint. I may uh, show you how to use Paint 3D. If um, if you want me to, just leave that in the comments. Um, but this this is this tutorial is pretty much complete now. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to do in order to use the Paint program. Um, as I said, if there's anything else you want me to show you, then don't hesitate. Uh, just let me know in the comment section on YouTube, and I will tutor I'll do a tutorial on whatever you whatever you like, um, providing it's within reason. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learnt a lot and a great deal on the Paint program. And I look forward to seeing you on the next, next video. So see you then.